Welcome to Coco's 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Euland. For more information, go to bobeuland.com slash Cocos2D. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to integrate Cocos2D and UIKit. UIKit consists of many user interface objects. An important class is UIView. It contains UI control objects like UI button, UI date picker, UI text field, UI slider. But there are also other UIView objects like UI window, UI label, UI picker view, and many others. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to integrate a UI slider into Cocos 2D, but the same method applies to all UI views. Let's go to Xcode and see how this is done. We are inside Xcode, and our task is to show a UI kit control in Cocos 2D. In our tutorial, we will show a slider, but you can show any UIKit control using this method. Our plan is to use the CCUIView wrapper class, which was written by Blue Ether. Here is the CCUIView wrapper class, and as you can see, it has one class method called wrapper for UI view. It accepts a UI view object as input and produces a wrapper object as output. If we go and look in hello world layer.m, we see that it is empty. And in the interface file, we are importing UIKit and also CC UI view wrapper. Let's begin by declaring a slider. UI slider. Call it, for instance, slider. And also declare a CC UI view wrapper. Call it something like slider wrapper go to implementation and what we want to do is add a slider so let's write self add slider add slider method doesn't exist yet we have to write it so let's do that paste some code. Here we have it. First, we are creating our slider programmatically. We make a frame and create our slider inside that frame. Then we set its properties, including the action to be performed when the user moves the slider. In our case, we are calling the action slider moved. When we have our slider, we take that slider as an input to the wrapper for UI view method, and out comes a slider wrapper object, which we add as a child to our layer. We have not yet written the slider move method, so let's do that. Void slider moved introduce an integer called slider value and set it to slider value. The slider value is a float, but here we convert it to an integer. 
and then we just log. Our slider value. Let's build and run. There is our slider, and if we drag it, we see that we are locking its values. Stop and go back. Let's now make it a little more fun. Instead of logging it to the console, let's put the value in a label. So let's go to the interface and declare a CC label TTF. Call it something like label. Go to the implementation. And after creating our slider, let's add a label. Paste some code. Here is our label with the initial string of zero. We give it a position and add it to the layer. And instead of logging this, Let's put it in our label. We are using string with format method to convert from integer to string. Let's build and run. And as we move our slider, our label is updated. Thank you for watching.